Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I'll show you guys how to set up a hard drive for use your, with your Nintendo Wii for USB loader or Wii Flow. So there are lots of links in the description on this video. Um, this link right here will send you to Get Backup Manager. This program is used for converting ISOs um, to WBFS files for your hard drive. So you just want to go to the Downloads tab and then just download the latest version. Okay, so once you've downloaded it, just go into your downloads folder and you want to find the Wii Backup Manager zip file, right click and then do Extract to Wii Backup Manager. Okay, so all you need is this file. This is just going to contain the exe launch files and everything else. You can delete the zip file because you no longer need it. As you can see, I already have an ISO game and it's Mario Kart Wii. Right guys, so here is the hard drive I will be using. It's just a basic 20GB um, normal SATA hard drive made by Seagate. I'm just going to be showing you the setup. So what I've got here is a hard drive SATA adapter to USB. So I'm going to be connecting this. Um, I've got a link for the hard drive and uh, adapter in the description. The hard drive that I link will be a lot better than this one at a reasonable price. Now I've also got a USB um, type, just a USB to USB um, 3.0 cable. So I'm just going to connect this to the SATA adapter and then just connect this uh, into my laptop. Once your hard drive is connected, you just want to um, look at the properties and make sure it's FAT32. Um, this is just so your Wii can read and collect correctly. Okay, so you, um, you can just right click and then go to format if your hard drive is not FAT32. I'm not going to format mine because mine already has some games on which I wish to keep. Okay, so now you can just go up and launch um, Backup Manager. I'm just going to use the 64-bit version, but you can choose whichever version you want to. Okay, so once it's open, um, what you want to do now is move the ISO um, of whatever game you chose um, to the, your local disk C drive. So what you need to do is create a new folder called WBFS. I already have one. To get a new folder, all you have to do is right click new folder. It's that easy. And then rename it to WBFS. Your um, ISOs, or what if you only have one, your ISO file will go into this folder. So when you put your ISO file inside the WBFS folder, you want to open up Backup Manager again. Then you want to select Drive 1, which is going to be your C drive because that's your computer. Now for Drive 2, you want to select the hard drive that you're going to use on your Wii. So mine is Drive D. So now you want to go to Drive 1 and transfer your game across to Drive 2. This is going to convert the ISO into a WBFS format. Wait for this to complete and I'll be back with you guys when it's finished. Alright, so it's been a few minutes and the game has finished transferring. What I'm going to do is just open up the file explorer and have a look on my Wii's hard drive just to check the games there. So as you can see in the WBFS folder, here are all of my games. This is why I didn't want to format it because I already had a few games on there. As you can see, it's across successfully in the correct format. Now you want, what you want to do is just close out of Backup Manager and all of that sort of thing. And you just want to safely eject your Wii's hard drive. Now I'm just going to show you guys how to set up your Wii for use with the hard drive. Right guys, so Mario Kart is now on my hard drive. So what I've got here is my Wii's SD card. This has Wii Flow, USB Loader GX and D2X C iOS installed on it. You can choose between Wii Flow and USB Loader GX, but all of those tutorials will be in the description of this video. So I'm just going to put in my SD card. Next, I need to connect my hard drive to my Wii. So what you have to do is use this exact USB port here. This one is called um, USB port zero. I'm just going to connect in my hard drive. All 
Right guys, so now I'm just going to set up my Wii and show you guys how to launch the games. Okay, my hard drive is connected and my Wii is turned on. Now I'm going to show you guys how to successfully launch the games. Okay guys, so what you want to do is just open up the Homebrew channel. Now you can choose what you want to load. Um, I actually prefer USB loader, so I'm going to go for that. This does work with Wii Flow too. So just tap A on it and hit load. So you're going to see all of these options, installing, installing USB device. If you get any errors, make sure you have your hard drive in the correct port. Okay, so here we are, it's loaded up. And as you can see, all of my games are actually displaying here. If your games aren't displaying for some reason, you can go to this option up here and make sure Wii games and GameCube games are selected. You can also check these ones and it will show everything on your Wii. But I don't need to show that stuff so I like to turn these two off and have it like that. So let's just, um, I recently just got my own cart so let's just give that a launch, just press A on it. So as you guys can probably tell, this is actually region free as well. I've actually got a Pal Wii, and right now I'm running a um, USA ISO of Mario Kart. So that is really cool. So let's just um, give it a try and just see if it works. I'm probably going to have to do some sort of setup or something. So yeah, I'll leave um, all links in the description. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.